Keeping venomous reptiles is an unforgiving hobby, requiring proper training and lots of experience. One simple mistake can be the difference between life and death. death, death. Remember, the most venomous snake in the world oh, is the whoa. one that just bit you. There are no venomous snakes with training wheels. Just because you see Viper Keeper handle snakes a certain way does not mean you should try it too. Well, Mr. Boomslang is on his perch. Let's see if he's interested in something to eat. Mr. Boomslang is quite unpredictable, so it's always good to have a a hook in hand just in case. So oh, there we go. He is a savage feeder. Let's see if I can move this a little closer. Get upset, buddy. There you go. You guys have a front row seat to the mouse vacuum cleaner there. Now, if you can remember him, I've had him since he was a hatchling and, uh, oh, almost boom slang cam. Uh, and he was just this beautiful aqua sea green color and uh, he went black like every other boom slang that I've ever had, whether they were wild caught and they came in. Um, with green, the typical green coloration um, or a hatchling. They all seem to turn black in captivity. I've never seen a melanistic boob slang photo from the wild. From all my friends in Africa, uh, they have never shown me one video or picture of the melanistic uh, boom slang in Africa. Sort of having trouble with that one, huh? Well, if you weren't so excited, uh, you wouldn't, uh, you wouldn't have it sort of stuck in your throat. Now, you know, you can see if I can zoom in here really quick. He has some uh, pretty big fangs back there. And he has the ability to extend his lower jaw like 90 degrees. Oh, come on. Cooperate. Oh, you are such a toad. So as I was saying, boom slangs can extend their lower jaw more than 180 degrees so they can actually apply their wide open mouth flat to any part of your skin um, and inject you with lethal venom. Oh, okay, there you are. Well, thank you for uh, coming around the corner there. Just don't do it in rapid motion. Mr. Boomslang's cage needs cleaning already. It was just recently cleaned. Fortunately, he does spend a lot of time in his trap box. So I can easily uh, uh, close them off. I think you guys saw at the end of the year a, a uh, cleaning video of his cage being cleaned. Uh, like most colubrids and a lot of cobras, they really do make a terrible mess of their cage. But at any rate, um, boom slang venom sort of acts uh, like how the Ebola virus in, from Africa works in people. It basically causes all your cell membranes to sort of disintegrate and you sort of have a meltdown. Oh, well that's not very nice of you. You have a meltdown and uh, you end up uh, leaking blood and serum and all your body fluids uh, through all your internal membranes and basically sort of melt down and disintegrate in your bed. So, boom slang venom 
acts slowly, you have, you know, hours, it's not going to kill you in five minutes, uh, but it is essential that you get uh, antivenin, because if you don't get antivenin, uh, uh, you will not probably survive it, uh, because unless there's antivenin to counteract the, the components of the venom that's shredding your membranes and destroying your ability to clot. Oh, you're over there. You're over there. I see you. Uh, the doctors really can't arrest the damage being done to your uh, your system. Come on. Up here. Uh, you had to do that out of frame, didn't you? Huh? So there's no stopping the boomslang venom once it gets rolling and you're probably going to die. Uh, my friends in Africa, fortunately boomslangs don't uh, bite very many people, but if they do, usually it's fatal. Now, you see this on his back. Well, that's because this dope burned himself on the grill where the light was and I had to cut this branch because it extended over under the light and he burned himself on the grill. Now he's pretty much all healed up and stuff, but uh, I didn't want him to hurt himself again, so I... Don't look at me, look at the mouse. There you go. Alright, that's your allotment for this week. So, uh, I cut the branch so it wouldn't be, uh, you wouldn't have the ability to, to burn himself again. Okay, dude, so now that you've actually sort of cooperated and we made a nice video, would you be so cooperative to uh, get your face back in your uh, cage? Good. Well, you listen for once. Huh? No, there is no more. Just go ahead and swallow. Come on, back. Don't get pissy. You had four. That's plenty. Uh, uh, uh. You know, these guys... A lot of the snakes would eat themselves uh, to death, literally. They would eat till they exploded. So I try to limit, you know, their food intake. You know, he's a big, healthy adult snake. He doesn't, like, cruise through trees or anything like that. He just sort of hangs out here in his cage. Um, he doesn't need that many calories on a weekly basis. You know, sometimes he goes uh, a couple weeks without feeding, but he's not worse for wear. Oh, I got your tongue stuck on the glass there, dude, huh? So, you can go chill out, and once you're all chilled out, I'll change your water dish out. But that's all the color that he's got left is on his chinny chin chin. But that's Mr. Boomslang. Anti-venom for Boomslangs costs five thousand dollars a vial, and that's directly from the factory. It's because they don't make it in mass quantities like they do uh, standard South African anti-venom. They make it uh, in small batches because not a lot of people get bit. So I have one vial in the uh, refrigerator. If I ever need it, hopefully. Uh, uh, that's usually all it takes, um, but uh, once I get one vial in me, uh, I will, uh, uh, I'll have to contact Venom One to uh, 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 send a, another vial or two up, but hopefully I won't ever have to use it because, as you see, I'm pretty cautious with him. He is a fast mover. And uh, 
I think now he has gotten the idea that uh, uh, he has uh, uh, finished his meal and it's time to go sun himself. So we're going to end the video right here. And I'm going to lock up his cage so he can't make any surprise exits.